what's up everybody i am back with another youtube video and if you're new here my name is john i am a watched a tiktok star who only used to be kind of famous because of his twin brother but now i make videos on youtube about healthy lifestyle tips to improve self-confidence that level up so if that kind of stuff interests you definitely like this video and subscribe for more videos like this all right so this might be a long-awaited video for some of you guys out there but i'm finally gonna give my full year review of the neutrogena retinol rapid regrow repair my first video ever on this channel I posted a video on how I started clearing up my acne and this was one of the main ingredients and steps that I included in my routine that actually cleared my acne. And a little later after that video I made a six month review of this product and I just documented my progress with this retinol. And now this is going to be my full year 12 month review of this retinol. This retinol was very good for my skin at first. I mean if you've seen the first few videos that I mentioned you will see the great amount of progress that I actually had. But then after those six months, my acne slowly started creeping up again, even while still using the retinol every single night. So in my first video I did, I took some progress pictures once a week, every single week for three months. And then of course, again with the six months review. But for this video, I stopped taking progress pictures because it was getting kind of demoralizing. I'll put a few up on the screen right now, just so I could show you. I mean, it wasn't as bad as when I, initially started but it was coming back yeah i just stopped with the progress pictures i took a little bit every now and then and i took one before this video so i can show you right now but yeah as you can see my acne was still coming back so at least in my case with this product the retinol just stopped being as effective as it was when i first started it became not as strong when it comes to preventing my breakouts also i feel like it wasn't recovering as fast as it was before when it came to brightening up the dark spots and all the hyperpigmentation that your face is left with after a pimple was there. No matter how long I used this product, after those six months, it just kind of became ineffective to me and kind of useless. Now, to be fair, I did switch detergents when it came to washing my towels. I was of course still using hot water, but instead of using Tide Pods, which are expensive, but very effective at cleansing, I switched to a liquid detergent, which is not as strong as Tide Pods are. So I switched detergents, I switched to the liquid because it's cheaper, but that was maybe the main culprit into causing my acne flares again. Because ever since I switched to that laundry detergent, that's when my acne started coming up again. I'm just saying that in defense of the retinol, this probably could have been very good for me still, but at the same time, I feel like my skin just became acclimated to this and it wasn't really benefiting my skin anymore. So whether I switched laundry detergents or not, I was going to need a stronger retinol in order to keep my skin healthy anyways. And so that's what I did. I recently started the Adapalene, I'll go get it. It's this right here, the different Adapalene gel. I'll put a link down in the description below because this, I just started this but I could tell that it's really working. It's effective because it is not actually a retinol. It's a retinoid. So in short, I believe that there are three types of retinols. So there's a retinol, which is the least effective. Then there's a retinoid, which is in the middle. And then I think retinols are at the top. Correct me on that if I'm wrong, but I know for sure that retinoids are stronger than retinols. Retinoids are actually so effective that you actually have to get them prescribed to you by a dermatologist. But like in my case, there are a few products out there that you can buy over the counter, at least in the US, I'm not sure about other countries. I feel confident that the retinoid will be a lot stronger for my skin. I will be making more progress videos on this just like I did with the retinol. Definitely be on the lookout for that. And that was my quick little update of the Neutrogena Retinol Rapid Repair Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Regenerating Cream Fragrance Free Full Year Update. My conclusion, this is a very good beginner retinol. If you're just starting out, you want to improve your skin, I definitely recommend starting with the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Regenerating Cream. This is just very gentle on the skin compared to other retinol products out there. And so definitely try this one out if you're just getting started. Now, overall, this was good at first. It was good while it lasted but I need to move on from this guy. And again, be on the lookout for this product as well. I'll definitely give some video updates. I'll leave links down below for the both of the products because like I said, the Neutrogena is a very good starter retinol, but then eventually when you want to upgrade, the Adapalene gel will be a good choice for you. So that was it for this video. I hope you found this video valuable today. I hope you learned something from my mistakes to better yourself. And until then, I'll see you in the next one.